Unusual scene in rural Indiana today. You're watching what investigators say was a stolen school bus crossing through fields as police tried to chase it down. Tonight, a man is under arrest after police tell us he stole that bus in Cincinnati and drove it about 80 miles to Shelbyville, Indiana. Now, thankfully, no one was hurt here during this hour long chase, but a trail of destruction was left behind and you're seeing some of that now. That bus caused damage to police vehicles and fields. This evening, Fox 59's Max Lewis shows us multiple views of that bus's journey across state lines. You can still see the tracks there where that school bus busted through that embankment before landing in this cornfield just south of Shelbyville. But state police tell us this wild chase started more than 70 miles away in Cincinnati where that school bus was stolen. Video shows that school bus going on a literal field trip, kicking up dust as it tore through a cornfield in Shelby County. Then security cameras captured it barreling through the parking lot of an antique store along State Road 9. Yeah, it came through that field, came through our lot, traveled right through here, right where we're standing, jumped back on a 9. But it was hours earlier that state police got a call from authorities in Ohio saying that stolen school bus was heading their way. It was taken while a driver was practicing their summer school route. They had that via, that bus had gotten out of it briefly and while they were outside of the bus they saw it take off um, and realized that it had been stolen. Police say the bus jacker was 32 year old Chad Murdoch of Cincinnati. Two state troopers and a Batesville cop spotted him driving north on I-74. When they tried to pull him over, he kept on going and led them on a chase through Decatur County. That chase eventually entered Shelby County and went through numerous yards and fields, leaving a trail of tire tracks. A couple of the tires eventually did hit tire deflation devices, um, which may have slowed the vehicle. It became disabled where it couldn't go any farther. Murdoch's final stop was in this field where he was surrounded and taken into custody a little after 11. By that time, cops say he had left a trail of destruction to not only the land, but three police cruisers as well. Amazingly, nobody was injured. Most everyone, including police, say it's just hard to believe what they witnessed. I've been a police officer a long time and I've seen a lot of crazy and crazy things happen. Uh, anyway, this is a first for me. I don't think I've ran into this before. Been here 10 years. Uh, case stays pretty quiet around here. So. Yeah. Except for today. Except for today. Yeah. Murdoch is right now sitting in the Decatur County Jail. He is facing a number of charges, including resisting law enforcement and criminal recklessness with a vehicle. In Shelby County, I'm Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Wild story there in the Shelbyville today, Max. Thank you so much.